Doug Hill, long time no see. Soccer's been going on, and uh, you've been in and out kind of a crazy year with COVID and everything. Different year, absolutely, Brian. Um, I think every time we played a game, we were winning. But uh, I had to take a little pause. You know, that we, we had to move that Seattle game. I don't know if you remember that big snowstorm came, but uh, I actually had to leave town that weekend. My mom was... Uh, she wasn't doing too well and she was in Florida. And so uh, I said, you know what? I need to get a flight and see her because people say if they're going to pass, it's time to go. And, you know, my mom was an inspiration to me. She was a coach in college. She was a coach in high school. And she's a good Irish Catholic lady that the cup was always half full. So I think it's my duty to carry on some of those positive traits she had. And that's what I'm trying to do with the team right now. Yeah, you're doing a great job with that. My condolences for that loss. Um, let's, moving into soccer, of course, this past weekend, a great, great uh, victory against California Baptist. Actually, it was on a Monday <laughs> yesterday. But uh, good job by your team. Your team seems to be finding its legs, so to speak. Yeah, they're doing very well. You know, if you want to peak, you want to peak at the end of the season. Playing back in the stadium was a big treat. You know, that, that was a new environment for us. Like, this room's kind of a new environment for me today. You know, I haven't been here a while. But uh, I missed you. But I miss playing out on that soccer field, and I think the guys did too. They think they performed well on the grass, getting back on that home field. Like if you remember in 17 and 18, putting 20 straight wins in a row. Well, let's start that again. We got one, and now we got to go for two. But the guys performed well. Um, I think one of the positives coming out is four different people scored. Um, the defense played really well. We had a shut it going to the end. I got players minutes that didn't see minutes all year. I don't think there's any negative. And, and the realistic thing is we didn't all have peak performances. And so Bussy was on fire pretty much on the left side. Leighton before was running his butt off out there and setting up people. Um, but you had a lot of people playing well, but not as good as they can play. There's more potential in this team. So what excites me is we got some games coming up that if we get more and more people getting their peak performances, this team can go some places. And it has to start with the next game, which is Friday. But Great goals. I mean, the first goal, Elijah got behind, made a beautiful cross to Mike Nexu, put it in. Um, those guys played about 30 minutes. I made some subs, but I left Elijah in because he was trying to take that guy down the left side. Um, he comes in again. I put Luke Hill in, and he comes in and taps one in also. Right place, right time. That's what matters in soccer, you know, and then finding the back of the net. And then in the second half, Lathan before is kind of slipping that goal beautifully to Thad. Thad calm, collective, cool, just just passes it right into the right side netting, which is perfect. And then Jared Dove, our big center back, coming up and getting a reward with a full volley and putting the game four. I said, and it was funny because Kevin Doyle's coming on. He goes, Doug, do you think we should sub the outside backs? I go, you know, three's good, four would be better. And as I said, four, Jared's banging in the backside. I'm like, get those guys in. They need some minutes. And that's what we've been looking for because you want to develop your young talent. And we have a lot of good young talent. And there's some guys that didn't suit up that could be in that talent pool also. And the good thing is to keep developing these players and getting the minutes when they can. And their job is to make more minutes when they get minutes. That's for sure. you got Houston Baptist coming in here on Friday, 6 p.m. kickoff again at the favorite stadium. It looks like the players loved playing there. Hopefully it'll turn out the same way on Friday. Four seniors you want to honor before that game. Yeah, and the weather's supposed to be perfect for them. They have their parents coming in. Senior days is an exciting time. They put a lot of work into the program, and this year they put an extra half year because usually senior day is done, Brian, in November. Well, their senior year got extended a little bit. They got less games, but four quality people, and if I can say one thing about all of them, they're all going to be quality leaders out there in the Air Force. I mean, what is this institution about? Producing leaders of character that are going to go out and do great things, and they make us proud. And, you know, their experience in the soccer program, I think, made them better people their experience here at the academy. But we got four diverse different people. You know, we have Reese Cook, who's a little, you know, quieter, but very calming, and he's our captain and gets along with everybody. Like, they all get along with everybody, but he just brings that nice, calm demeanor. Max Soul, who's a little bit, has a little charisma. He's pretty funny. Um, went to the prep school. He's struggling. He's grinding it out. Reese is kind of like a, probably a 3 5, 3 8, s some grades I've never saw when I was here. I was more like Max. Max, I can relate to you. I was a preppy too. But, and then there's guys that haven't gotten much minutes, kind of like Larry and Clary. But, you know, they all bring an intricate part to the team. And he's like in a locker room leader. He calls people out when they're not doing the right thing. He has the leadership qualities of what we're looking for in the Air Force. And he's a great mentor for the kids. 
and he's not afraid to do the right thing all the time. And if somebody isn't, he'll call him out. And Garrett, Mayoka, I mean, if you talk about a guy that is heart and soul, and he puts other people's first, he's selfless. What he really is interested in is everybody else doing really well. He was a squadron's commander during BCT. He'd come out and see when we were doing training in BCT, he'd come see the guys. He'd motivate them. He's, a, he's our biggest, most honored, uh, high-ranking cadet. He's third group commander. He's got a lot on his plate. But his joy, I can see it when he comes down and plays, he's got a smile on his face. So guys that put four years into the program, what's the school all about? Building leaders of character. Well, we got four leaders of character that go out in the Air Force and do great things. So I couldn't be more proud of those guys. I know their parents are proud, but they have every right to be. But I kind of become with a parent a little bit too, and so do my assistant coaches, and we love them. Yeah, and it'll be nice that they get this final game against Houston Baptist. You won two in a row now. The Western Athletic Conference has tweeted that you have made it into the tournament. How do you how do you stay from being overconfident against the Huskies? Funny you say that. I tried to dust off my TI-55 calculator. That's Texas instrument. They don't exist. And when I turned it on, the batteries were dead. So I just took the old school pencil and paper, and I did the math formula. And yes, Brian, they were right. I wasn't sure at the beginning because some teams have only played six games, like Utah will only have six in, and we'll have nine. But it's the percentage of games you play that goes into the formula. So if you're a math guy, 0.9s multiple is a lot better than having 0.6. So they're going to get 0.6, and we're going to get 0.9 times the win-loss record and everything else. But it all works out. We're going. But to be good, you have to close out your season with a win. you got to get a little mojo going into the, going into the conference playoff. And the real deal is... We knew we had to win three games. Well, this is a third, so that's still out there. There's something to go for, and it's senior day, and I don't think you want to do anything different. If you want to go anywhere else in the conference tournament, you have to win three games. We're playing Tuesday, hopefully Thursday, and hopefully in the final on Saturday. And selection day is on Monday. But this is good practice, three in a row, to win three more in a row. But it's one game at a time. It's Friday with nothing looking past that, and then we'll pack our bags and get ready for a quick trip. All right, Coach, good luck. We'll see you out there on Friday. Thanks, Brian. Good seeing you.